Hi, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're gonna to talk all about Max, our four-year-old bearded dragon, and how we live and travel with him full-time on the road in our outdoors RV travel trailer. Most people think about traveling with a dog and even sometimes a cat, but who thinks of a bearded dragon? You know, that's, I, I don't think many people definitely, are doing this. Definitely rare. <laughs> really and truly, it's not hard. It is, it's, Easy, it's not that you hard. You need a few key items to bring with you, just similar to a sticks and bricks, and that's what we do. So. He travels well. He's a good co-pilot. He's not the Rose is the co-pilot, but <laughs> he's our co-co. He, he's a co-co pilot. <laughs> he navigates sometimes. You should see where we end up. But he kind of sits in the middle, and yeah. he, he's really good at traveling. So let's yeah. let's dive in and see what uh, traveling with a reptile is all about. If you're new to our channel, we're a family of four who travels with a bearded dragon all over the country. We live in an ORV travel trailer and we love to put ourselves in difficult, compromising positions and learn new things to challenge ourselves. So this is our bearded dragon, Max. He's four years old and reptiles, bearded dragons do not produce their own heat. So we need to bring along our heat lamps for him and the UV light as well but here he is four years old he's a very chill dragon he travels super well and we love him don't we yes <laughs> so let's talk about max's setup inside our rv and we haven't had to modify anything in our rv for him we've just taken his terrarium his cage that we had in our sticks and bricks and we've brought it in to our RV and it sits on the floor in front of our dinette. It does take up a little bit of space, but we make it work. Uh, he's got his heat lamps uh, and his UV light and sometimes a heat emitter for those nights when it gets those a little cold. Those cold nights. And sometimes we have yeah. to use the lithium battery when we're boondocking mm -hmm. to keep that heat emitter on because it does right. get cold, especially in the desert. Yeah. So yeah, we're always thinking and, and our power consumption Right. It's always built around Max. I think that is like our main concern all the time. It's just making sure we have enough electric to heat that well. Right? When Max is not in his cage, when he is warm enough, he absolutely loves to go on the top of the dinette, the cushion top, and look out the huge window. Where he is now, and you should yeah. see him sometimes, <laughs> as soon as he gets, and he knows he's going there, and he just jumps up he to the dinette, right and up. wham, he yeah. flies up there. Absolutely and loves it. Yeah, that's it's his cool. favorite place. I usually find him there. Now, we do let him free roam and let him stay up there as long as he wants until he gets cold again. He'll tell us when he's cold. Right, and we'll, we have a little setup now that we can hang his heat lamp over the dinette so he can stay warm there. But usually we kept it on top of his cage and with a door open. Uh, and then, so he would just climb down, walk down, and then hop down off of the dinette and put himself right back into his cage so very self-sufficient he's self-sufficient yeah. we can leave mm -hmm. when we go boondocking and we want to leave for a while well, we can leave him out yeah we leave, if we leave for like a couple hours we'll leave him out but we're not going to leave him out all day oh, no long. not all day okay right right so and he'll do it himself and he'll be fine everything every time we've done that he's been good yeah mm -hmm. in fact we've never come home to him having pooped somewhere in the rig or he, no. yeah. he he's mm -hmm. very very particular about where he goes yeah, and he'll tell that. you mm -hmm. yeah so it's he's got a little like butt waggle he does but he turns white first <laughs> he turns he white, really white does a little butt waggle and then he'll do his thing and when they poop pee it's all the same like comes out the same hole tmi but it's like a bird so it's not too much information. Easy to clean People up. People want to know how lizards poop I know, and pee. right? Well, it's easy <laughs> to clean up. We we make sure it's on the hard floor there, and we just wipe it up. Done. Definitely smells a bit, so we tie it off in that trash bag and get it out in the truck bed. It stays in the back of the truck bed. I don't know if we're attracting or repelling mice, but it's yeah, going to do that something. Works, that works. <laughs> so that's where he goes to the bathroom. If he gets a little messy with that, then that's when we put him in the little bathtub. We have a small, kind of thin. Uh, Open that we put nice warm water in and then we let him soak in there. He loves it. Kind of clean him off. Also, if he hasn't pooped in a while, we'll put him in that and kind of warm things up, and that also and helps him go as well. It's a little well. bit of a catalyst. But yeah, they don't like to do it in their cage. They just absolutely hate their cage to be messy. 
so he usually does it outside. You so. should see him at night. He goes around, he picks up his cage, he puts things... I'm kidding, he doesn't do anything like <laughs> no, that. No, 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 no. Anyways, moving on. All right, let's talk food. Max is a little bit of a picky eater, but he definitely gets in all his necessary bugs and veggies. So his bugs, he eats um, black soldier fly larvae that we can usually pick up at Petco's across the country. They come in these little tubs, they're like five bucks. Um, and, and that helps a lot. Uh, his veggies, he eats collard greens, any kind of like greens except for like the spinach and like lettuce. Those are not very good for him. He likes he red likes peppers. Red peppers are his favorite. Yeah, he likes yeah. and then um, in a pinch, we'll do these dried black soldier fly larvae. They're not alive. They're, They're good. Dried Put them on my salad sometimes. Good snack food. Um, in a pinch, we do this uh, dried veggie um, omnivore mix. So we add a little water too, and he loves that as well. That's a way to hydrate him sometimes when he's not drinking yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. And then he'll also drink a little bit in the bath tub that we put them in, um, but they do not absorb any water from their skin or anything they like that. They so drink it. They drink it, so he does. And then in a pinch, we've got this uh, Beardy Buffet. This stuff is a powdery mix that has all his necessary um, uh, food that he needs in there, and we just heat it up with water, and that was very simple to do. And then He does he like it. Little, little snacks and little crickets. He loves that, too. Anyways. So we have an arsenal of, of different kinds of foods Food. for him, yeah. but we try to get as, as many fresh bugs and fresh mm -hmm. vegetables, yeah. sometimes fruits even. And it can be done on the road. I yeah, didn't it can be so done. at first, but we found a way. You know, the, He's happy. Because pet smarts and pet co's are so pervasive all over the country, right. it's really easy yeah. to do that. Mm -hmm. So on travel days, mm -hmm. it's it used to take a while, but we've gotten this system down that works so fast. When it's almost time to go, we turn off his heat lamps mm -hmm. and let them cool because they're gonna go down and reside in the, the dinette. Mm -hmm. And then I prepare the bed. I've got two tie down straps that sort of go underneath the bed yeah, because the it lifts up. up. Mm -hmm. And then Rose and I carry it around. We have this little system. We <laughs> set it on the, the back side of the bed. Right. And then I put a blanket over it and I strap it down on two sections of it. Mm -hmm. And it, it's tight. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. Around. And it has traveled thousands, mm -hmm. okay, like 20 some yeah. thousand miles yeah. like that. And it's still and okay. it's zero issues. It hasn't come apart. Not it gone. works great. <laughs> and, you know, we, we put him in a little little uh, soft-sided cage mm -hmm. and keep them warm, use heat warmers. In the and winter. In yeah. the winter, little yeah. Little hand warmers. I have electric hand warmers too that I can put in there as well. Keeps them nice and toasty and warm, which is important. Yes. Yeah. And then we, mm -hmm. we take him out to the truck and while it's running and I'm getting the thing hooked up mm -hmm. and then he sort of, if he wants to stay, if he if it's too bumpy, it's too bumpy. he, he, he likes... crawls right in there and yeah. turns himself around yeah. and kind of gives us that look like, dudes, this, is, this is not for me, I'm out. <laughs> Peace out. I'm <laughs> so, yeah. But when he's when it's smooth and it's sunny, he oh, loves yeah. to jump up on the dashboard and mm -hmm. hang out up there and he sits on the console. You've seen plenty of video like that where yeah. he's next to my arm mm -hmm. and just, you know, hangs out and he looks around. Out. He's a really good traveler. And when we arrive at our location, we bring him in. We usually put him up right in his favorite spot in the dinette. Mm -hmm. And when we're ready, when we want to get, you know, things situated, then we bring the cage down, mm -hmm. put the tie straps down and right. lights so back, on, back and on and it it, it literally well. What is it? Two minutes to get the thing in yeah. and connected, yeah. and then another two minutes to get the cage back out here. Mm -hmm. What a system, a system, but it works. It works, and we used to actually put it in our truck bed, padded and tied down. Think about that. It's but pouring rain, and you have to leave, and you have to take the cage out yeah, that was a and pain into the truck bed. Now, don't, don't yeah. forget, you can't put the tailgate down, so you have to do this before you connect the truck right. to the trailer. So Whoa, it was don't crazy. Don't recommend that at no. all. So our Tying system works. That's yes. what matters. <laughs> so you may be wondering if he, uh, if we take him outside or get him out or that kind of stuff, and we do. If it's warm enough outside, because um, they need some hot temps like 90 to 100 to be comfortable. So we take him outside, and we actually have a little leash for him, uh, and we can put him down on the ground. He can walk around and get a little exercise that way. Or if we don't feel like it's that safe for him roaming around, we'll just hold him and stand out there for a little bit. The other thing we also do is this mesh laundry basket fold up thing that we just put him in and we sit him down outside too and he can get the sun he needs. Uh, but overall, yeah, he gets outside and he enjoys it.
Yeah, we have to watch out ourselves for birds of prey. Right, that is he, a big he thing. He is food for a lot of the animals mm -hmm. that, and Especially birds. out west. <laughs> yeah, so we, we keep our, and he, he'll he see. He'll see yeah. them before we do. He'll and hunker when down. he hunkers down, we keep our eyes out. And if we see too many, or if it just seems like a dangerous setting for him, he yeah. comes back in. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. risk his life for that. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna go chasing down a bird carrying him away. It's just, <laughs> I, I, no. No, but uh, overall, he seems happy traveling. And that about wraps it up about how we travel and live with our Beardy Max here. And we hope it gave you a little information and insight. Uh, maybe you want to travel with your bearded dragon and... Or maybe you want to get one and travel with right? one. Right, you're just curious. So we hope it gave you some insight. Yeah, please, if you can comment, like, subscribe, all the above the usual YouTube stuff, but really comment because Max yeah. loves to hear from you. He reads his own and he responds to his own. Okay, he doesn't really, but he, you know, he does love to hear his name. Right, Max? Right. Hey, guys. Thank you for, thank you watching. for watching. We wish you well, and we'll see you in another video. Yep.